And we're back for Global Leaders Season 7. Today I have with us a lady that needs no introduction. The work that she's doing in the community is nothing less than epic. Wait for this one. Fiona, how are you doing? Very well, thank you, Rajiv. Fantastic to have you with us on the Global Leaders Show. I know you're doing so much of amazing work and always going out there and making a difference in the community. How about you tell our lovely viewers a little bit more about Fiona Khan. Who is Fiona Khan? Well, firstly, thank you for this award. Uh, secondly, I think I am Fiona Khan, the social entrepreneur and synonymous with the Global Forum for Literacy, which I founded and I'm the CEO. I am also an award-winning and internationally published author and poet. And I think I'm known more for my work with UNESCO as the ambassador for the Durban UNESCO City of Literature. And uh, that's part of the Creative Cities Network that extends throughout the world. Wow, you can see you have many different hats. Your portfolio is absolutely fantastic. Now, Fiona, to be doing all of that amazing work and to be helping so many people, I'm sure it takes a lot out of you. What are the secrets to your success? You know, you've got to love yourself the most because when you love yourself the most and your creator, uh, you know, the divine or the supreme being you would like to call it and we call him Allah, um, you find that there's so much love inside of you that it overflows into other people and everything that you do and it's not about the inspiration or who motivates you and getting up every morning and saying I've got to do this or I've got to achieve this no but if it's inside of you it's something that empowers you it inspires you it motivates you you got a purpose every day and you know you are motivated to be ready for the world and the world is just not out there it's right in front of you wow i can feel your energy you know i absolutely love that energy i love that vibe if you were here let me tell you you will go crazy blow up the chat congratulate fiona khan now fiona let's let's get a little bit deeper sure tell us more about some of the work that you're currently doing and how our fantastic people can get involved all right so global forum for literacy goes out to about 110 different countries and we provide free resources uh, that goes all the way from ecd early childhood development all the way to uh, tertiary institutions and we have links where we link tertiary institutions to other resources. I think we are linked to various organizations around the world, many leading organizations, and uh, we work under the Creative Commons. So what we do in South Africa is provide a platform for schools, universities, pre-service teachers, teachers, parents, homeschooling, hybrid teaching, and the works, especially after we've come through the, uh, the whole COVID scenario. Uh, hybrid teaching and learning has become so important including homeschooling and we have lots of opportunities for people to provide under the Creative Commons which means that you can do it absolutely free under your name you know your books write your books and put it onto our platform and you get credit for it and it goes out to as I said 110 different countries to all the other groups that are associated with us most importantly I work uh, as uh, outsource my talent and my knowledge economy to the University of KwaZulu-Natal and the other universities we are hold workshops with uh, pre-service teachers and undergraduate students and uh, I'm uh, uh, presently completing my thesis which is on whole brain creativity and thinking and creating a model and program which has never been done in the world before so wish me luck because this will be out there to be a template for every other um, academic to use in tertiary institutions and schools well you hearing it first live here on the global leader show i did tell you we got life-changing people who are out there making a difference right here in our country south africa and that's what makes south africa so beautiful and most importantly so diverse now to the people watching this, I'm sure there's lots of writers out there who have books and would love to get it onto your forum. Who can they email and how can they get in touch with you? Well, we're at Global Forum for the numeral four 
global forum for literacy at gmail.com and uh, I'm all available and so are, uh, is my entire team my digital artists and editors and uh, we work under volunteerism because of the passion and the love we have in contributing towards the knowledge economy of the world and uh, sustainability so if we can sustain that knowledge by creating a ripple effect with everybody else around the world it'll be so exciting and so you know uh, I think it's it's what you would call seva it's what we call service to humanity and that's what we need. We're so tired of taking from this world and depleting it. Let's put back into it. I love your mindset. I, I love the way you think, you know. And, and that is why when I had the opportunity of reading her profile, I said, this Global Leaders Show is going to be a truly special episode because you, you're hearing from a lady who has been through different walks of life and is now ready to give back and empower our future generations and our future leaders. Fiona, any final words? Yes, I think we, we have huge mental health issues, not only in South Africa, throughout the world, especially after the COVID. And I think this has been imposed upon us and we find the after effects of that. And one of the most beautiful things you can do is write your narrative, tell us your story, be the human library that the world needs. Tell us something that the world does not know and needs to know and needs to learn from because that is the message that we'll carry to the future. It's not about AI, it's not about, even though Global Forum for Literacy is about digital literacy and mobile literacy, we cater for almost the whole of Africa. Africa needs to hear your story because Africa is the gold mine of the world. Let Africa hear your story and we want to hear African stories. We want to hear Arab stories, Indian stories american stories so contribute to the knowledge economy because that is what will sustain us for the future a true leader live right here on the global leader show fiona khan thank you so much for your time and i'm sure that there's many people out there who's going to be contributing to your work sharing in your work congratulating you for the amazing work that you're doing from myself Raji moti i've just got one thing left to say you guys have just been motivated